Hey, it is Tuesday, Too Short Tuesday. Um, I'm Karen, and I have Sidekick. Hi, Tim. Okay. Um, I think all of us are doing the um, consequ physical consequences of eating disorders, um, and I have many. Um, and I think the main thing that I wanted to get across was loss, that the gifts, the gifts of an eating disorder um, are far less than anything to celebrate. I abused laxatives um, like crazy. I was taking about a hundred in a day and I did that for about six months and um, and I quit cold turkey and ooh, that was that was fucked up. Um, insomnia, you know, pay uh, you know, pay homage to something that takes more than it gives. You know, it takes your the sufferer's ability to trust. It takes people around you, you know, their ability to trust you. Um, a, a relationship that has an eating disorder in it by either both parties or, or one party is almost impossible. Um, because when you're engaged in this kind of self-destruction um, and you know you have this self-loathing there's no way you can possibly love anybody else. And <clears throat> an eating disorder is very lonely. It's torture. This is the result of both anorexia and bulimia, though I've never been <clears throat> diagnosed as bulimic, um, purging anorexic, but whether it be from laxatives or overexercise. Um, but this is what you end up losing. And, you know, I don't. So I guess in, in all of this, um, you, have to, you have to realize um, what you're in for. You're not getting away with anything while you're doing this. You're not invincible. You are going to die. You'll never be more than alive. You'll never do more than survive. It's just it's impossible to have a life with an eating disorder. Um, you know... I mean, I'm on, I'm on permanent disability for the rest of my life. That's what anorexia gave me. Gave me neuropathy, gave me pernicious anemia, a heart condition, a stroke, hair loss. Um, it gave me a lack of trust, other people's trust. Um, I was a very hurtful person when I was sick. Um, not that I didn't care that I hurt people. Um, I wanted them to feel as bad as I feel. And that's so not fair. Um, I became my own victim and that's, and that's what we do. You know, whether our eating disorders are aligned and uh, rooted in abuse, uh, trauma, you know, and we become our own victims because it, it, that's what we're used to and that's what we feel that we're worth. Um, you know, I, um, I don't see any gift with an, eat, an eating disorder. Um, I, my eating disorder was never about weight. Um, it was about control. It was about chaos. It was about controlling that chaos inside my head, around me. Nobody came to me. I didn't have any responsibilities. Um, I lost friends. I lost family members, girlfriends. Um, I became, I became someone that I, that I didn't like. I used to, I used to be afraid of recovery because I didn't know who I would be without my eating disorder. When you know, in all actuality, it's not only reality but it's actuality um, that. You would be you without your eating disorder because your eating disorder needs you. You don't need it. 
you know, it needs a host body to massacre. Um, and to know who you are in recovery from an eating disorder, you have to know where you've been. And if you know where you've been, you don't have to look any further than your own backyard for, for your answers. You, we have them all. Um, so, so an eating disorder will bring, excuse me, both physical consequences um, and repercussions that you can't fix. Um, the biggest thing with an eating disorder is loss. That's, that's the gift. I don't believe in rock bottom. That's just an excuse to keep on digging. You know, I don't know how many people I've known that have, you know, said, I've hit rock bottom. Can you help me? No, I can't. That's your responsibility. It was my responsibility. You can only be your own hero. If I could help anybody, I would help everybody. But if you, you have to want it. So the only, the only effects that are eating, the, the only things that you get from an eating disorder is loss. And the only perfect anorexic is a dead one. And between the start of an eating disorder and the end of an eating disorder is walking death. Because that's all it is. You're nothing. You're nothing. You feel like you're nothing. But you are everything. You just don't believe it. Along with these physical consequences of an eating disorder is so much more. I've got a horrible case of acid reflux um, to where it gets so bad sometimes that water, ice water even feels like um, needles, pins and needles going down my throat. Um, I have been unable to talk, unable to move my head. It's not worth it. Um, it's, it's taken so much more from me physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Um, you know, like I, I mentioned before, I used to go out at night in my pajamas and I used to dig through people's garbage cans for food. And I, you know, I'd find the, the most rotten things that I could and I'd eat it because number one, I was starving. And number two, that's all I thought I was worth. So it takes your self-worth, it takes your, your integrity, it takes your honesty, um, it takes your accountability, responsibility, um, it takes your body, you, you become a slave, and the only freedom is recovery. So I would, I would have to say, don't buy into it. It's not glamorous, it's not pretty, Eating disorder recovery does provide me with so much positivity. Um, I'm getting, you know, you get your self-esteem back, self-respect, dignity, honor, you know, integrity. You know, and, and if you know where you've been, then you know who you are. You just, you have to tap into it, and that takes guts. Um, and, you know, I don't, I don't have sympathy. I have empathy to a certain extent, but if that light has gone on, gone on in your head, then, then every day that you stay sick, every day that you've said, oh, I've hit rock bottom, it's bullshit. You haven't hit rock bottom. If you have, you're going to do something about it. So I'm alive today, and that's a gift. By all accounts, I should be dead. So. If there's anything that I can celebrate from an eating disorder is freedom, is the end of slavery, is, is the, the beginning of, of a new life. February 20th is my day. That was February 20th, 2002 was the day I sat down and I ate a full meal. If you, um, if you like your hair, if you like your teeth, if you, um, Appreciate your mind, your, your organs, your heart, your bones, your sleep, your energy. If you appreciate all of that, stop what you're doing because you're not going to get away with it. Everybody's going to die. Why speed it up? Why make excuses? Do it. It's just life.